My name is Sadiq, uh, Sadiq Wanyaka, and I am an intern uh, in Tomac, and I basically uh, write test programs for the robot arm and uh, document, like uh, writing examples, example programs for the arm, for the arm, and writing like some sort of like a tutorial best. Uh, uh, example programs where anyone can go to the GitHub uh, repository and look through these programs and like know how to program the robot arm by looking at these examples. So that's my job mainly. When I first got the internship, I didn't know anything about the robot. Actually, uh, I was more of like, uh, in, in software development, I was more of like a so, uh, um, app development, web development and things like that, right? But when I got the robot arm, I was like, oh, okay, what am I supposed to do here? Like, what am I going to do? So I needed something to like actually to get to learn how to use the robot arm. Mm -hmm. That's when everything came into like creating this software to like just dive in and like figure out what, how to get the robot to move, right? So the best way was to like, hey, just tell it to go here, go there by giving it points, right? But then I got boring. I'm like, yeah, just give it a, an image and then like it will figure it out by itself, you know? That's that's what that's how everything kind of evolved to this. So now we can run. Okay, we can. Yeah, it pauses every now and then to like process the next uh, the next batch of paths. So the reason I do that is because if I let it draw every single path in one go, it freezes forever. So to get rid of the freezing or the crash, I. I break down the path into smaller pieces so that the robot can handle it. It's, it's done now. It's done now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Steve image. So now it has extracted all the uh, paths from the image. So since these are like crowded, so there's so many paths all like packed together, it may not look great down there uh, on the piece of paper. And we've also not enabled the smoothing. So what I'm going to do is before I actually do anything, I can add in the smoothing and see if it it looks different and if I still have those lines like a lot of lines all over the place I can actually play around with the uh, thresholds to like reduce the amount of paths it's extracting it's still a lot of paths but it's not too bad so uh, so now it's drawing those tiny paths uh, I think it's on and this is with the smoothing so without the smoothing like it would be pixelated so at this point Russ is not doing anything Russ is more of like controlling the arm the image or path extraction in the image is more of uh, OpenCV. Personally, I'm using it to like extract lines or contours in the image. If I click extract, the image is converted into black and white. It looks for the black pixels and then average those black pixels to determine where it should put a point. And then as it collects points, those points are like connected to form a path. So that's when ROS comes in to like move to control the robot to like move around the things that i wish to add is to edit like actually drawing the paths i would like to have like hey you can click on this window and then draw points you put a points or plot points and then the robot goes through those points uh, so the program is done if we had the choice of like actually removing the redundant lines i could zoom in into this image to like get a bit more uh, details of like the eyes and the mouth the nose and the mouth but to get it to draw a little bit faster, I kind of zoomed out. So before we were using this uh, uh, pen holder over here, but I kind of broke almost every single one of them. Uh, me and my friend came together to like uh, design this one. It's a bit bulky and uh, takes some, it takes some, some time to like install it. But once it's on there, uh, you can do whatever you want. You can smash this into the table and it's great. <laughs> yes, so uh, I did post on the uh, Toma forum uh, where to get all this so you can get the uh, uh, the 3d models for the holder and where to buy the uh, the parts yeah so these are all 3d printed and um so this is the tube that you you buy from a, a master car yes and um i use a linear bearing in between over here to make sure that it doesn't wiggle mm -hmm. so you have that nice linear motion in, in the pathpilot ui you can uh, set up um uh, conversational waypoints so you can set up a conversational waypoints to like tell the robot where to go which is great it was meant to be simple but uh, to me I was like ah, I needed something a bit more uh, uh, you know agile in terms of like coding where I can just code uh, something where it takes an image and just draws the paths for me and I can tell it whatever path to draw and it will draw it that was the main reason why I created this
is to just have a simple way of like, I want to test this arm and see what's going on with it. I can just give it an image to draw and it will like draw those same things over and over again. Hopefully it doesn't draw outside the uh, page. If it has, okay, so that's, yeah, that's if the path is like slanted like that, it usually has that issue. <laughs> what are you doing to correct that in the future? So usually this happens when the path is like slanted like that, right? So I need to figure out a function that goes through, calculates uh, the slope of the line, and then figure out how I can actually compensate for the uh, that uh, zigzagginess of okay. motion. That's good. Let's see. So That's that, good. so that is with smoothing, right? Mm -hmm. It it looks good, right? I'm going to run this again okay. uh, without the smoothing, so that you can see the difference, and then run. So right away you can see how uh, shaky it is, like it's like moving all over the place. And I, I kind of like the results. It really depends on what you're doing at the moment, whether you need the smoothing or not. If I was drawing like a chaotic image, yeah, it won't look great. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can see the difference here. Yeah, I mean, the results are similar but you can see the shakiness in the other one and over here um, the smoothing function isn't the best you can get better results than those but in the future uh yeah making that cleaner and then having some editing tools in 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 the uh, software this is just a fun project that you can do on the you can do on the side and program the arm to like import an image and then draw it um, so in the future, I would like a Dremel tool and then some piece of block and then like kind of curve the block out to like make it smoother and see if actually that's even doable. Um, what have you taken away from this inter internship, internship with Pathpilot and working at, at Torma? Torma, coming in, I'm like, I was an amateur in pro uh, robots. Like I, <laughs> I mean, I'm still an amateur, but I was uh, uh, oblivious about robot arms and stuff like that. I mean, I kind of did some robot uh, um, uh, FTC uh, 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 fast tech challenges in high school with robots and stuff like that, but not at this level, <laughs> not at this level. Uh, our, our robot arm was a bit junky and like you can't really get anywhere with it, but I was new to the robotic kind of side. So this kind of taught me about like how to like go into ROS and like create savvy, like basically program the robot to do stuff. So that, that is something I kind of get got out of, for now, that's what I've gotten out of the, uh, uh, the internship. So what do you love about software programming? Software programming? What I love about software, <laughs> uh, that's a tough question. I mean, I just love, like it's, it's really hard to describe. I just like it. It's, <laughs> I like how, uh, access how easily accessible it is that's what i love I like, that's what i love about uh, software like anyone can do like anyone can if you want anyone can uh, get out there and like learn how to program and create a piece of software it doesn't have to be the best piece of software it, it, even if it says hello world but that's that's it that's 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 the that's the beauty of software development is like it's accessible to anyone it just up, it's up to you to like decide whether you want to do it or not right um, yeah, that's what I love about software.